Okay, so Jesus was very black and white in this verse, Matthew 12. Um, he talks about how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, right? Then he'll spoil his house. How does someone break in if you're not there, right? Or if you've got a gun, somebody's not going to be able to, you know, succeed in this. He that is not with me is against me. That is pretty black and white. I don't think you can get anything more black and white than something like that. He that is not with me is against me. What does that mean? Right? That actually scares me. You know? Because if you are not with God, he's plain out saying you are against me. There's no other option. It's not like... You know, it talks about in Revelation not to be a lukewarm Christian. You know, God will spit you out if a church is lukewarm. He'll spit you out. This is pretty convicting. You know, if you think you're going to have some gray in this, it ain't happening. There's actually a channel about God is gray. No, I think he's pretty black and white. Okay? If you are not with me, you know, believing in him, entering by the narrow gate, walking with Christ growing with him, loving his people, growing. Jesus says, you are against me. Okay, so what Jesus wants to do is he wants us to evangelize and help people come to know him and be saved. But if you willfully choose, you know, I, I ain't believing in God, you're against him. And that ain't going to go real well for you. Not in the end. You may have the worldly stuff now. But in the end, it isn't going to go well for you, and you're still going to have an emptiness, even if you have worldly stuff. Um, so he's pretty clear. I like that. I like that black and whiteness in this context. Um, I do tend to be open-minded and gray in a lot of areas, but when it comes to the bottom line, this is black and white. So, um, and he that gathereth not with me, you scattereth abroad. So, I mean, you have to choose. There's nothing neutral here. He never has said it's okay to be neutral. You either love God or you don't. And Christ is a stumbling block for a lot of people. People like to earn their own way, thinking they're going to earn their way to heaven. And he's saying, nope, nobody gets in except through me. No one gets to the Father through me. Many thieves will try to jump over the fence, try to find another way to get to heaven. And he says it's only through me. Just like when you're a mother, right? You're not touching my kids. I'm going to protect my kids. You want them. You're going to go through me when you have to protect your kids, right? So, um, yeah. And then, again, he says over here, down below, either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt. For the tree is known by its fruit, his fruit. We're not always going to be able to tell fruit with people, but for the most part, we should be having a lot of good fruit here.